Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today for a very exciting Celebrity Cruises webinar. My name is Anna. I'm an Industry Relations Manager here at CLIA, and I'm going to just quickly go through some housekeeping before introducing our presenters. This webinar will run about 45 minutes with time for questions at the end. Please feel free to type your questions into the questions module of the webinar, and we'll get to them at the conclusion of the presentation. This webinar is being recorded and will be posted on CLIA's YouTube channel, which is CLIA Global. And with that, it is my pleasure to introduce our presenters, Jessica Suchman and Maria Kronk. Jessica has been a proud member of the Celebrity Cruises brand for over six years. She began her career as a market sales manager working with travel advisors in the capital region and mid-Atlantic. For over three years, she's been a part of the celebrity training team and is incredibly proud of the team's hard work and accomplishments, like their Gold Magellan Award for the Five Star Academy. And Jessica is joined by Maria, who is sales training strategy and development specialist. Maria has been a part of the Royal Caribbean Group family for over 30 years. She proudly served as a field and regional sales manager for over 25 years in the Southeast region, building relationships and strengthening business relationships with celebrities' top accounts. Maria now applies her experience in the field as a member of the Celebrity Cruises sales training team and is excited to share the Celebrity Cruises brand distinctions with all of their valued travel advisors and to share the tools they need to succeed. And with that, take it away, ladies. Thank you so much, Anna. Thank you everyone for joining us today. We are so happy that you've taken the time out of your day to kind of spend a little bit of time with us and get a little update from Celebrity Cruises. And before we begin, we just wanna thank you for your continued support and always connecting with us and with your sales manager. We know it's a difficult time right now, but we are all here together and we will only move forward if it's together as well. So I wanted to call out a few things just before we go over our agenda. And I know many of you may have questions on some of our different policies and what's going on now. So we wanted to let you know that all of our information that we're presenting today is going to be found on the celebritycommitment.com. You'll see our current policy information for Cruise with Confidence, our global sailing suspensions, everything you need to know for promotions is there. Our webinar recordings are there as well, and you have access to be able to connect with your celebrity sales manager. And then if you have specific booking questions, which we may not be able to answer today, we encourage you to connect with your sales manager or call our call center at the number listed on the screen here. We can always show this to you at the end of the broadcast as well, in case you need that number again. But let's jump into what we're going to discuss today. And there's a lot of positives, I think. There's a momentum building in the industry. So we'll talk about new trends, a healthy return to sale update. We'll talk a little bit about Cruise with Confidence. And we wanna share with you some ways to build your business because really it's it's ramping up now. It's, it's about building back. Um, and we're really going to be excited to share with you some tips and tricks. And we're gonna talk about our latest offers and take some questions at the end of our session. So about trends that we're seeing, we're continuing to stay close to our travel advisors, close to our customers at this time. And really we're seeing a lot of positives out there in the industry and in the perception of travel. So really looking at the studies that we've done, Americans are remaining happy and hopeful, um, relaxed. Hopefully they're relaxed today. It's a great day <laughs> on election day. And then we have also some, in, you know, stability and cruise hesitation, which over time, it's kind of fluctuated up and down. So being stable, I think is a good thing at this point. And then of course, Americans are increasingly open to testing and vaccines um, when they travel again. So these are positives that we're seeing as things move forward. And when we look specifically at our past guests, we are seeing that three out of five are extremely interested in cruising in the next two years. This is a really bright spot and they're always uh, favoring those Caribbean destinations or that's a heavy focus for them moving forward. So Caribbean, Hawaii, Europe, a lot of this reflects in the booking trends that we're seeing now as well, but it's incredibly encouraging to see that our guests really wanna get back out there and start to cruise again. And we hope that you're seeing this as well. We also want to give you a quick update on our healthy sale panel. So as many of you have heard um, through industry news, through uh, your consortias, through joining our webinars, we are in partnership with a healthy sale panel um, with Norwegian Cruise Line Holdings as well. And this really is designed, the panel is aimed at um, 
providing new measures that are going to help us return to sea safely. And we have a panel of great experts from across so many different disciplines, doctors, scientists, health specialists, um, governors, really so many wonderful people who are helping us to put together some new ways that we can cruise very safely when we return. And of course, from our team, we have actually now hired Dr. Kelp Dr. Calvin Johnson, excuse me, our global head of public health and our chief medical officer for the Royal Caribbean Group, who's really spearheading a lot of these things as well when we are returning to sailing. Many of you may have heard that the CDC has made an announcement on a conditional sailing order. So we're actively interpreting that and we are looking forward to how we can implement a lot of these suggestions. So we know you have a lot of questions as to when we'll return to sea, and that still is uh, in talks. We're still working through everything and really remaining hopeful that it will be soon. Um, so please stay tuned, stay close to all of our communications, and we really want to try to keep you as up to date as possible. Um, so what is it going to look like when we return to sea? We are not exactly sure yet, but we have already introduced something that really is going to help revolutionize that cruise experience. And I wanted to talk a little bit about that today too. And that's our Muster 2.0. This is a digital muster. So as many of you hopefully have heard about this, it's really a great way that we're gonna actually be able to reduce uh, congregation on the cruises. It's actually able to be done through your mobile app or the celebrity app. And you can do this pre-cruise. You can start watching our uh, life jacket drill before you even enter the ship. And you're able to actually view this on your interactive stateroom TV as well. So there's a lot of different things that we're looking at to revolutionize the cruise experience. And I think one of the best things is Muster 2.0 and it's going to be able to let you get to that cocktail quicker. I think the muster is always <laughs> one of those things that you have to do, so this really is going to be a great way to make this experience more seamless when we get on board. Now, we did want to touch on the fact that we, of course, have extended our global sailing suspension. Uh, many of you may have heard this came out yesterday, so we have suspended sailings departing December 1st, through 31st. So below you're actually going to see the different um, the different compensations that we're providing to your guests. All right, so we're offering them the 125% FCC, which is going to be processed by November 30th. There's no action necessary to receive this. This will be automatically processed by our teams if your clients were on one of the affected sailings from December 1st through 31st. Now, just as a little caveat, this excludes previous suspended Asia and Australia winter 2021 sailings because those were communicated, um, I believe it was, gosh, in October at this point. We've had a few different suspensions that have come out. So Maria, jump in if I'm, if I'm blanking on a date. But we also have 100% uh, lift and shift, which is going to be an option for your clients should they choose to actually take the booking that they have that's booked now for any time, December 1st through 31st, they can actually move it to another sailing in the next calendar year within about four weeks of their original sailing date. So this just needs to be completed by November 13th. They can even get 125% of their PCP purchases in onboard credit. So that can be done by November 13th as well or they can elect to have a 100% refund, which you could process online through Cruising Power by December 31st of this year. So we also wanted to remind you for the future cruise credits, a one-time transfer of your FCC to a 2020 or 2021 sailing is possible if it's requested by November 30th of 2020. So this is of course applicable to FIT or group bookings. So we just wanted to make sure you have all of that policy information. Please don't feel like you have to write this down. Um, we have everything available to you on the celebrity commitment. But I want to talk as well about Cruise with Confidence because this is a tool that helps us to look forward a little bit, to you know have a little bit of that security as we move forward into booking new sailings. Um, we are very happy that Cruise with Confidence has been extended to November 30th. So now any of your bookings that are made on or by November 30th of 2020 are eligible to receive any of the program benefits. So that's either a 100% future cruise credit should your client 
decide not to sail up to 48 hours prior to departure. They can lift and shift their booking as long as it was made by November 30th of 2020, and they decide to lift and shift by November 30th, 2020. So they can actually remember, pick up all the elements of their booking and shift it to a future date that's one year in the future within four weeks of sailing, okay? So there's a few different options. We also have our best offer, best price guarantee, which you can actually look at all of these elements of Cruise with Confidence on cruisingpower.com. All of these can be completed um, automatically online. So it's really a very seamless process, but I think this program is one of the tools that we're gonna have when we move forward and really be able to give a lot of confidence and security to our clients as we're making new bookings. A quick reminder, we also have a quick facts guide available to you on the celebritycommitment.com. I know this is a lot to view here on this screen. I'm not gonna read through every line, but this just overviews all of the different compensation options that are available based on when what affected sale date your client had. And then underneath in the orange section, you see our cruise with confidence policy and the opt-in and action dates that you need to consider. So please remember everything's available to you on the celebritycommitment.com. I did want to talk to you as well about thinking towards the future. We talked about this with Cruise with Confidence, but what do you really do with this, you know, to help you build your business? We're really in a period right now where it's critical to reimagine and, and rethink the way that you are reaching out to your clients, the ways that you are building your business, because maybe there's something else that you could be doing now that's going to help position you better for the future. So one of the things that we have found to be incredibly successful are our virtual trade shows. So we wanted to walk you through a process where we tell you a little bit about what we do before the actual showcase begins, what you do during your showcase, and what you do as follow-up. So we hope this helps guide you a little bit and we invite you to share in, in the question box if you have any success stories of your own on virtual showcases or virtual trade shows. We really want to know because I think this is going to be something that really helps you build your business as time moves on and as people are more comfortable kind of dialing in versus going in person. So let's talk a little bit about the Celebrity Dream Showcase. Before your showcase, so before your virtual event, we think it's very critical to work with your celebrity sales manager and really get buy-in for this initiative. Make sure that they are helping you with content, if it's celebrity focused, um, any offers you may need, the date of the event, who's gonna be there, you know, everything that needs to go in towards this event planning, get buy-in from your sales manager because they're there to help you grow your business. You're going to want to decide which web platform you're going to use. Right now we're on GoToWebinar, there's Zoom, uh, you could Facebook Live, there's any number of different ways that you can reach a digital audience. So really just get, get them behind you, get them to help you explore options and make sure that your team is on board as well. If you're an agency owner or manager, really get your team involved in the planning process or get them involved in the initiative because everybody is accountable for the results in the end. We also invite you to determine how to promote the Dream Showcase. This is very, very critical because you don't want to, you know, spend all of this time and effort in planning and then you didn't, you know, adequately prepare and no one shows up, right? That's always the most disappointing. So how can you segment your database to attract the right client? Is it a luxury focus of your event? Is it a destination focus? Are you focusing on family travel? You know, go back into your database and look for those people historically who have booked those types of trips with you and bring them into this event. Understand the focus and the direction of the event so that you can invite the right person. Establish tracking so that you can know when you've made contact with them, know when they've registered. Um, create promotional materials. I think this is very, very critical because you want your teams to be able to share this easily with their clients and you want your clients to be able to share this invitation easily as well if they're going to bring along a guest or if you encourage open sharing of this invitation. So create a few social media templates, create email content, um, 
work with your marketing department. If you don't have a marketing department, work with your sales manager. That's what they're there for, to help you come up with a lot of these ideas to keep it consistent across the board and make sure that it's easily shareable. Now, another thing to consider is your promotional timeline. You definitely want to be sending out these invitations at multiple touch points. You don't want to have one round of invitations go out and again, nobody comes, right? So determine when you're gonna send them, how often. For us, a lot of times we reach a broad audience and we are able to send a lot of communications very close in and have a great response. But sometimes if it's a big event, you need to push that out further, right? You need to give time for it to build. So make sure you factor that into your communications. And then of course, conduct a rehearsal. We cannot tell you how important this is from our own experience, is to do a rehearsal with everybody who's gonna be involved so that you know everyone can access the platform and you know can be heard, knows the flow of the event. That is absolutely critical for it to be seamless. Now we also want to talk about what you do during the showcase because that's just as important. You wanna be engaging, you wanna be lively and fun. So make sure that you have a great pace, great tone. This slide always makes me double check myself. <laughs> so avoid rushing, going too slow, use clear language, try to avoid uhs and ums. It's, it's natural, it happens, but try to limit it as best that you can. But one of the biggest things that we've seen be so successful is bringing the destination to life. Storytelling just inspires people. It gives them goosebumps. We have had our uh, director for Galapagos, Susanna Romero, on so many of our webinars recently. And the way that she brings the destination to life, the way that she tells stories, the way that she shares videos and photos about her own personal vacations is just amazing. And it really connects people. And here you even see Dondra, our SVP of sales with her family. She shares stories all the time when she has her webinars about trips that she's done, um, the feeling of connectivity that she has with her family when she travels. These are important to bring to life for your clients and really get them to be invested in the idea that you're communicating, the, the trip that you're communicating. And of course, always have a call to action. Ensure that your clients know what the offer is, who to call, where to go, make sure there's a time limit on it, impart a sense of urgency. These are all critical for your event. Now, after is just as important. I know I said everything is important, it really is. <laughs> after is just as important as the pre and during. You really need to follow up with everyone who attended. This is critical. You need to reach out to them email, phone call, a handwritten note, you know, thank you for joining me at our first session. Thank you for joining me at our fifth session, whatever it may be. And then share the recording if it's possible. If you have that capability to put it on your website, share it, share it in an email, link to it on your YouTube channel, anything that you want to really make sure that that message is still out there and accessible. But if there's a time limit on your offer, we understand that. Now, if you have your team helping you with goals, your sales manager, really hold yourself accountable to meet the goals that you laid out in the beginning. If you wanted to sell five cruises from your showcase, make sure you make it happen. That's really the only way that you're gonna see the result. Hold yourself accountable. So I know it was a lot, but I hope it's a little bit invigorating, a little bit energizing to hear about ways that people are building their business things that we've heard from our other travel advisors out there who have had much success with a lot of these different dream showcases. We wanted to share it with you and hopefully you can take away a portion of this and try something new. It really is a time for transformation and reigniting your business in a different way. So with that, I'm gonna pass it on to Maria to share some other exciting news with you. Well, Jess, that was really fantastic. And I wanna remind all of our travel advisors on the line today, that that uh, portion, that Celebrity show, Dream Showcase, is a one-pager on the commitment, on the celebritycommitment.com. So you can go and get your own uh, page or checklist, if you will, so that you can also uh, do your own Celebrity Dream Showcase. And that is on www.thecelebritycommitment.com. So we encourage you. That was great, Jess. I'm ready to do one of those. So a little update on Apex. And many of you may be aware 
that Apex uh, sailed across the Atlantic Ocean about a week and a half ago now. Time is going by too fast. Could have been two weeks ago. And she was greeted by five of her of our sister ships or her sister ships, including Celebrity Edge. And they actually did a dance. If you have not seen the video, I encourage all of you right now to write this down and go to the Celebrity Commitment. The video is right on the homepage. Remind yourself to go and see that video when you get a chance because if it doesn't give you goosebumps, I don't know what will, but it was pretty amazing. And also on YouTube, Captain Kate has a wonderful video about the uh, choreographing of the arrival of Apex in the Bahamas and how she was greeted by her sister ships. So it was fantastic. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, our ships are waiting for you, but we want to share something with you that you may not be aware of. And that is that we have the retreat and the retreat is our suites, which are all exclusive, all included. And it is a ship within a ship. So you can have a luxury experience on Celebrity Cruises, as many of our guests have experienced already. So with the suite comes just a whirlwind of included perks. And those perks you are pretty familiar with, they are the beverage package, the gratuities, the onboard credit, and the unlimited Wi-Fi. Those are our four typical um, uh, included perks. However, with the suite, they do get the premium beverage package. I want to remind you all of that. And Jess, you can go ahead and go to the other side because included is the sun deck, which is an outdoor area that rivals any high-end resort or all-inclusive resort, I should say. It is a beautiful, spacious lounge area with plush, stylish furniture, an inviting pool on the Edge Class series, and a relaxing hot tub or water feature on our other ships. And of course, there is the retreat attendants who help with towels, beverages, and snacks. And as we finish revolu revolutionizing our ships, we will be adding that exclusive area. The, the other ships won't necessarily have pools, but they will have that private area, as well as the retreat lounge. Michael's Club on our non-revolutionized ships is the retreat lounge, but on uh, all of the ships that have been revolutionized, as well as Edge Series ships, uh, we do have this beautiful lounge with complimentary beverages, gourmet bites, a place to unwind, dedicated concierge, and it's available 24-7. We also have for you your own private restaurant when you are in the retreat. Lumine is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner for our retreat guests. It is a private restaurant, it is complimentary. The menu options can be found nowhere else on board. Always new signature dishes, uh, menus by our culinary, global culinary ambassador, Danielle Boulud, and complimentary, as I mentioned, for all of our guests. And if you're not aware of who Daniel Boulud is, he is a chef owner of several award-winning restaurants and has mastered the dining scene. Today, he is considered one of America's leading culinary authorities. Look at how beautiful that restaurant is. So um, as we mentioned, just a few more photographs. Some of these are of the revolutionized up on the top right-hand corner of that uh, screen. If you could just go back one real quick. I'm sorry, Anna. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, the top right-hand corner is one of our revolutionized ships. As you can see, there's a a hot tub and a beautiful private area. And then you can go ahead and move forward now. And we're gonna show you a couple of our, our shots of the iconic suite, which is on Celebrity Edge and Celebrity Apex. This is a gorgeous two bedroom, two bath. And then the two story villas, it's two bathrooms, one on each level. The bedroom is upstairs. It is 739 feet. Uh, inside and 211 feet on the terrace where there is an actual little uh, step-in pool, as you can see there. What a beautiful, beautiful uh, two-story on the edge and apex. And on Millennium, we have transformed the penthouse suite, two bedrooms, two baths, with over 900 square feet and 197 square feet of terrace. 
gorgeous view there on Millennium. So I wanted to make sure you all knew what was included in the retreat. Of course, all of our retreat staterooms, all the suites have their private verandas. They have personal butler and concierge service. And we do have butler service in every suite. They have an exclusive restaurant and many specialty dining options, 24 hour in suite dining, premium wine and spirits and non-alcoholic beverages are included. Entertainment and enrichment, we have multiple pr production shows nightly, live music and world-class artists, and of course, unlimited Wi-Fi. So that is always included on Celebrity. So we are uh, in competition with, well, maybe not in competition with, with, but equally as inclusive as the luxury brands, whether they have less than 300 passengers or more than 300 passengers. So the other thing about Celebrity and the reason why you should be booking Celebrity is because you can earn more money because the perks are actually included in the cruise fare. And that is what your commission is based on. We call that earning commission with a comma, which means you make more money selling Celebrity. And just a few examples on Celebrity. Let's say the veranda, the cruise fare is $9,036. The retreat for the first and second guests is 13722 So your commission, based on 16% of the veranda stateroom, is $1,390. That's commission with a comma. And then if you sell a retreat, you will make $2,124 in commission. So remember that we always pay more money to you because the perks are included in the cruise fare. And it is, of course, the best value for your clients. So let's talk a little bit about the top bookings destinations. As Jessica mentioned, Caribbean, Europe, and Alaska are definitely in the top five. And we're going to show you a little bit about, on the next page, a little bit about our beautiful, luxurious, all suite, all included celebrity flora. And Celebrity Flora is open for sale all the way through 2022. And that is the ship that was designed specifically for Galapagos sailings, year round, of course. And what you're seeing on the right hand side of that screen is what we call glamping. That is a glamorous way to camp. And we have two of these beautiful um, little areas where our guests can enjoy uh, dining experience underneath the stars, and they can even sleep in another cabana on the other side. Uh, they can sleep underneath the stars if they choose to. So it's a beautiful, unique opportunity. Now with the Galapagos, we do have a special offer, which I think is probably one of the best offers I've seen, and that is 50% off for the second guest off the fare and free airfare, round trip airfare is included from many, many gateways in the US and Canada when you book through flights by celebrity. The airfare value is up to $750 per person. It is for the first and second guest only, including air taxes and fees. So what an incredible chance to experience flora or Expedition, which is our 50 passenger uh, Galapagos ship. And by the way, Flora is 100 passengers, but we're only going to go out with 50% for now. Expedition and then Exploration will come back towards the middle of next year as well. But you can certainly book those beautiful ships all the way through 22. And you can choose from 7, 10, 11, or 60 night packages. And as a reminder, you always make 20% commission on all our Galapagos bookings. I also wanted to remind you about our Alaska promotion. This is specifically on Seven Night Alaska on the Celebrity Eclipse and Celebrity Solstice. All stateroom categories are applicable, including third, fourth, and fifth guests. It is applicable to FIT and group bookings and combinable with our sail your way pricing strategy, which is our base pricing. So you get reduced flight, free drinks, and you can save up to $500 per person, or per cabin, excuse me.
And then, of course, we have our Alaska Cruise Tour offer, which is a savings offer of up to $200 to spend on board, plus everyone gets free drinks and a savings. And this promotion ends on December 15th. It's a beautiful way to really immerse yourself in Alaska. And finally, at the current time, we have our popular Sail Your Way promotion available through November the 12th. Sail, Sail Plus, and Sail All Included. It's three ways to book celebrity cruises. Sail is the lowest available fare with no perks. Sail Plus is two perks. And Sail All Included is four perks. And of course, with our suites, you always get the four perks and the premium beverage package. And this does apply to four nights and longer and departing before May 4th of 2022, which is what we have open for sale at the moment. So with that, I would like to pass it back to Anna for any question and answers that we may have or any questions we may have. Sure, thank you. We do have some questions coming in. Our first one is from Gail, who is wondering, with the Muster 2.0, are there provisions for those who do not complete the training as they previously could not sail until every cabin was accounted for? That's a great question. Um, yes, there are uh, different ways that we are able to track who has completed the muster drill and who has not, because of course, every guest must still complete that before we set sail. So there's various ways, there'll be announcements, they'll have announcements on the celebrity app on their phone, they'll see it on their stateroom TV, and then should they, uh, for some reason, not complete the drill, we actually are able to complete it in person in a smaller setting so that each guest is uh, checked off and ready to go before we set sail. Okay, great. And we have a lot of questions actually about the Muster 2.0. A lot of people are really loving it. This question is from Kevin, who is wondering if as clients transition to mobile, are there any perks or credits that are given for downloading the app onto their mobile devices? Well, that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I have not heard of any uh, at this time, but Maria, maybe you have. Um, but I think we've already seen, just to add a little bit of color to, to the question, we've already seen a lot of adoption, um, especially on the revolutionized ships, because we're able to enhance the technological capabilities of their um, you know, ship software and everything when we do the revolutions. So we've seen a lot of adoption on the revolutionized ships and we're increasing adoption you know, with each sailing that we do. Um, obviously, once we begin sailing again, it'll, it'll increase as we move forward based on the Muster 2.0 and a lot of other things that we'll be including in the app. Um, so we are very hopeful that many of our guests will start to use this as it's, it's a great way to you know, uh, see your folio and, and take care of a lot of items on your voyage without having to wait in any type of line. Maria, I'm not sure if I missed anything there, if you want to add. No, no, I was just going to add that um, they should download Celebrity App now and, and take a look. I, I haven't looked at my Celebrity app, to, app in a while, but I think it's time that we all revitalize it. Yeah, so, you can explore the ship and, and see a lot of different features and, and things on uh, on the app. So it's really fun. Okay, perfect. We have some questions about um, cancellations. So they just want to clarify, um, if booked before the end of this month, the end of November, can someone still cancel 48 hours before their cruise and receive a 125% future cruise credit? That's not exactly, uh, I think we might be kind of blending the different policies together. So I'm putting back up the cruise with confidence policy. So if your sailing was a part of one of our global sailing suspensions, so celebrity canceled our voyage, right? Then you would be eligible for the 125% FCC. If you choose to cancel, um, and this could be up to 48 hours prior to sailing, your client is eligible for the 100% future cruise credit. So I encourage everyone um, to go to the celebritycommitment.com and really look at whether the sailing was canceled by celebrity 
or if it was one that perhaps your clients felt more comfortable canceling at this time. Um, so that way is a little bit of the difference. I hope I explained that correctly. Maria, jump in. Yes, absolutely. Um, if you guys have any other questions about that, you can type it in the question box, but um, I would definitely take a look at that one pager that we showed uh, that was kind of an eye chart that can be found in uh, the Celebrity Commitment. Yep, that one right there. And it's got uh, the Celebrity Commitment website address. We encourage you to make a copy of that. That is so helpful because it tells you not only what the affected sailings are for the suspended sailings, but also what action you need to take in the day you have to take that buy. So mm -hmm. that will definitely help you. But Cruise with Confidence um, is, is a great option because it does allow them to cancel up to 48 hours before sailing for any reason. And remember, it will be a future cruise credit that they will get back. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much for clarifying. We have one more question about this and then we can move on to other topics. Rhonda is wondering if canceled prior to full payment, can clients still receive a refund? Yeah, uh, yes, yes, of course. Um, they can cancel any time before final payment for any reason. Okay, easy enough. Yep. Our next cool. question, our next question is from Laura, who is wondering what is the best time of the year to go to Galapagos, and are there any sailings planned yet for 2023? Oh, that's a great question. Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jessica has been to the Galapagos, so she, that that's one of her favorite places. Um, to answer the easy one first, 23 is not open yet. Um, but remember that the Galapagos Islands sit 500 miles approximately off of South America, off of Ecuador, and it, it is on the equator. So when an island or islands are on the equator, the temperature seems to be the same year round. That's why we can sail to the Galapagos year round. Now there is a rainy season and there is a dry season. Um, their seasons are opposite what the United States is and, and North America is. So right now they're moving into their summer as we are, or the, into their spring, I should say, as we're moving into our fall and winter, depending on where you're at in the nation. Uh, we're, I'm in Florida, so it's 80 degrees today here in Florida, <laughs> so it's, it's still summer for us. But, um, you know, it, there is no bad time to go to the Galapagos. There is, uh, you know, you still say, see the same animals, the same wildlife, the same uh, flora and fauna there. It really, there really is no better time. Now, if you want to go snorkeling, we do have the wetsuits that are complimentary for our guests so that you can get in the water with all of the wonderful animals. And Jess, you can talk a little bit about that because I think you did that, right? Oh yeah, it was it was an amazing experience. I mean, you see sea lions coming and playing with your group as you're snorkeling because they think, you know, you're an interesting creature. So they do flips and it's just one of the, the most special things I've ever seen. Um, I think any time that you go, as Maria said, is gonna be the best time because you're gonna see something completely unique. The animals there really have no fear of humans. They they interact with you. It's They're not afraid. It's just absolutely amazing. Um, I will say that we do have some wonderful resources. If your clients are looking to, to try to view anything specific or they want to you know, plan at a certain time of year, we do have some great guides for you for flora and fauna, what to pack. Um, so the itineraries really are very similar all year round. Uh, the Galapagos National Park uh, dictates the itineraries to minimize foot traffic on the islands. So really any itinerary that you have is going to be a wonderful experience. Um, and I would encourage you to go at the earliest opportunity that you have. It's really an amazing destination. That does sound incredible. Thank you for that answer. Our next question from Rhonda is, when do you know when Europe sailings in 2022 will open? Oh, that is a good question. And we just, <laughs> we just found that out yesterday. So the plan is right now is to op start opening, um, our opening our deployment past May 4th of 2022. So that would mean Europe, of course. 
uh, by the end of this year. That is the goal. Um, we don't have any specifics on that yet. They're just starting to work on new deployment this week, in fact. I got that from one of our revenue directors. So um, it'll be soon, very, very soon. Before the end of the year, you should be seeing all of our new deployment past May of 2022. And do look out for electronic brochures. Those are going to be available very soon as well. Okay, great. And it looks like we just have one more question from Renee. I know we've talked a lot about the app, but if clients prefer not to use the app, if they aren't into technology, is it okay if they don't use the app if they prefer a card key? Oh, of course. Absolutely. We have um, any number of ways to accommodate our guests. And, and if they don't have uh, a smartphone, they're able to complete Mustard 2.0 on their stateroom TV. They can still carry their uh, CPAS card. They can visit guest services. Any number of things you're able to complete as you traditionally are. Okay, easy enough. And it looks like those are all of our questions. So thank you so much for all of the wonderful information. And thank you, everyone, for joining us. Thank you so much, Anna. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Happy. We will. Oops, sorry, Anna. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I was just going to wish everyone a fantastic rest of the week. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Of course. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.